Have you ever experienced that gut-wrenching feeling of fear holding you back from achieving your dreams? Has this ever happened to you? Where there was a moment when you stood at the crossroads of an opportunity that had the potential to transform your life entirely. But fear gripped you. Fear of failure. Fear of the unknown. Fear of stepping out of your comfort zone. But you let the opportunity slip through your fingers like grains of sand. Was this opportunity given to someone willing to accept the challenge? This can be a hard pill to swallow, watching someone else seize that chance and soar high while you remain grounded. But that's the harsh reality of fear. It's a common enemy we all face, a snarling beast that hinders us from taking risks, from reaching out for what could be ours. Don't sit wallowing in regret, use this as a revelation dawned upon you. Fear, as paralyzing as it may seem, isn't the end. It's merely a hurdle, a challenge to overcome. And that's when I understood fear is not a stop sign, it's a starting point. Fear takes on many shapes and forms. It's akin to an unwelcome guest that arrives uninvited, often at the most inconvenient of times. It's a shapeshifter, morphing into various forms that can halt us in our tracks, stifle our dreams, and leave us questioning our abilities. One of the most common faces of fear is the fear of failure. It's that nagging whisper that tells us we're not good enough that we're sure to fall flat on our faces if we dare to venture out of our comfort zones. It's the voice that highlights the risks and downplays the potential rewards. Imagine a budding entrepreneur, teetering on the edge of launching a new venture, but paralyzed by the thought of it not taking off as hoped. Then there's the fear of rejection. It's the dread of being turned down, dismissed, or unappreciated, and it can stop us from reaching out and connecting with others. Picture a talented artist, their work a reflection of their soul, yet they hesitate to share it with the world, fearing it may not be received with open arms. And let's not forget the fear of the unknown. It's the unease and apprehension we feel when we can't predict or control what lies ahead. It's like standing on the edge of a dark forest not knowing what's hiding in the shadows. Think of a young graduate faced with a sea of career paths, yet frozen with indecision, unsure of which path to take. These fears are real and palpable. They're the doubts that make us question, the worries that keep us up at night, and the uncertainties that cloud our judgment. But remember, they're also just thoughts and feelings. They're not concrete walls or insurmountable mountains. They're not definitive predictions of what's to come. Recognizing these fears is the first step towards overcoming them. It's about acknowledging their presence, understanding their roots, and realizing that they don't have to dictate our actions or define our lives. After all, courage isn't the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. So, how do we move past these barriers of fear and doubt, you might ask? Let's delve into some strategies that can help us turn our fears into stepping stones towards success. Firstly, let's reframe our fear. Instead of viewing fear as a monstrous barrier, let's see it as a challenge, an opportunity for growth. Fear is a natural response to the unknown, but by acknowledging our fear and reframing it as a challenge, we can transform our perspective and muster the courage to face it head on. It's like turning on a light in a dark room. The monsters were just shadows, and the unknown becomes known. Secondly, let's practice mindfulness. By staying present and focusing on the here and now, we can prevent our minds from wandering into the realms of what-ifs and worst-case scenarios. When we're mindful, we're in control. We can observe our fear without letting it control us. It's as if we're standing on the shore, watching the waves of fear crash and recede without getting swept away. Next, let's set achievable goals. Instead of focusing on the overwhelming big picture, break it down into smaller, manageable parts. This way we're not facing a mountain, but rather a series of small hills. Each step we take, each hill we climb, brings us closer to our dream. It's like eating an elephant, one bite at a time. Lastly, let's remember that it's okay to ask for help. We're not alone in our journey. There are others who have walked this path before us, and there are those who are willing to walk with us. Seeking help is not a sign of weakness, but a strength. It's like sailing a ship. We can't control the wind, but we can adjust the sails. In conclusion, overcoming fear is not about eliminating it, but managing it. It's about taking that fear and using it as fuel to propel us forward. By reframing our fear, practicing mindfulness, setting achievable goals, and seeking help, we can conquer our fears and pursue our dreams. With these strategies, you can turn your fears into stepping stones towards success. Courage is not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. 
Every great accomplishment in history has been born from the willingness to embrace the unknown, to face fear head on, and to take that leap of faith. You've heard the strategies, you've understood the common fears and doubts, and now it's time to put it all into action. It's time to take that first step towards the unknown, to step out of your comfort zones, to embrace uncertainty and risk. To achieve your dreams, you must be willing to take risks, to make mistakes, to learn and grow from them. Breathe in, breathe out, gather your courage. You are stronger than your fears. Remember, the path to your dreams is not always easy or comfortable, but it is always worth it. It's time to take the leap, to dive into the unknown. Remember, every great adventure begins with a single step. Now it's your turn to conquer your fears. It's time to step out of the shadows of doubt and into the spotlight of possibility. Remember, fear is just an emotion. And like any emotion, it can be controlled, channeled, and ultimately transformed. We've walked through some powerful strategies today. Strategies designed to help you overcome your fears and take bigger risks. But the journey doesn't end here. We're all in this together and we want to hear from you. Share your fears, your doubts, your victories, and your stories in the comments below. Let's create a vibrant community of brave souls ready to face their fears and seize their dreams. And if you found value in this video, consider subscribing to our channel. We're committed to bringing you more content, more strategies, and more stories that inspire courage and drive action. Together, we can turn fear into fuel for success. So, what's your next step going to be?